Hello friends, welcome back. This is Cool ID Help. I hope you're doing well. This is the new video tutorial on table view example. So I am just continuing on my previous example. Okay. So as you can see on my screen, there are two tables, and on the left hand side tables, you can see that there are some empty rows, but on the right hand side, there is no empty rows. We are showing it blank. So how we can achieve this thing, how we can remove empty rows from the table view. So today we will discuss about that. So let's get started. Now come here inside the NetBeans IDE. As usual, this is my previous project as you have seen in my previous video. If you have not seen that video, so just follow the below links and you will get the good idea on the table view example. Okay, so I'm just continuing on the same example in my NetBeans IDE. So let me remind you some uh, old things. So this is my table view example project in uh, inside the NetBeans and this is the CSS that I was using uh, for changing the background color of the table view and we setting the row color. Okay. And this is the base package table view example where we have this is fxml document dot fxml file and then we have fxml document controller for dot java and the third file which is person dot java that I have used for populating the data inside the table view and this is the final uh, main file which has the main method and this is the starting point of our application and I will show you what we have so far so it will be easy for understanding now let's run this example now here I have a simple table view and data is populated inside this table view but as you can observe here there are multiple rows which are blanks and displaying with the table but in some cases if you want if you don't want to show these empty rows uh, inside the table view, then we have to apply the CSS to hide these rows. Okay, how we can do that? Just come back inside the CSS file here. So this is our CSS file that we have added. I have also given the example in my previous video tutorial how to apply the CSS on JavaFX. Okay, so I'm giving you a glimpse of uh, the same now here on the scene dot get style sheet dot add and this is the name of the style sheet so the style sheet will be applicable on all the components on the FX level I mean to say that the GUI components we are adding on the FX ML so that see this CSS will be applicable on that now come here inside the CSS I have written on a single component which is root dot root and setting the background color blue okay so so nice for, so far okay now we moving further okay for saving the time I have written the style the CSS uh, for the same to hide that empty rows inside the table view now come here and just I'm copying it and pasting inside the CSN. I will explain you each one by one, the each component one by one. Now come here at line number 15, the dot table hyphen view, okay, which is not required. Now the main function, the main thing is starting from here at line number 15, dot table hyphen row hyphen cell okay so we don't want to show that rows okay we want to show the empty space like see here on this screen on the right hand side table there's a white blank space where no rows appearing on the right hand side table view there is an, a white space okay so we will achieve the same with the help of CSS now come back here now table row cell okay it means we are applying the empty 
we are checking the empty if the row is empty it means that there is no data inside the cell then set the background color white okay so from line number 15 to 17 is used for when we have no data inside the cell then the background color will be set to empty which is white okay now come on the next one line number 19 the same thing the table row hyphen cell empty and then dot table hyphen cell okay because of uh, now here you can see that this uh, vertical lines for the cells okay for the separating the two cells this vertical line to hide this vertical line I have used this CSS table dot table hyphen row hyphen cell colon empty dot table hyphen cell and then we have written this CSS fx border dot width zero pixel it means the table cell that has a border and the width will be set to zero pixel and it will not be visible now so from 19 to 21 used for hiding the border of the cell okay now come on the next one at line number 23 dot table hyphen row hyphen cell colon odd colon field so this CSS is used for displaying the row color okay we are setting the row color that means we are choosing the odd rows 1 3 5 7 and so on and this will be filled with the background color red in the same way we have used the even rows filled with the background color light blue now you can see here in the screenshot this light blue color and the red color is used that one three five seven the odd rows are displaying uh, with the light blue color and the even rows like two four six and eight has a red color in the background so these two css for setting the background color of odd and even rows okay so this is the total css that i have applied now i will take a clean build of the existing project and i will execute and then we'll see the output okay it's taking a build now i think the build is successful now okay now i'm going to run this file this is table view example now do a right click and choose the run file and execute the okay now here you can see that as we have applied the CSS on the rows which is uh, in light blue color and red color which is applied successfully also you can see that this is the white area okay where there is no data then no cell will be displayed and it is set to the white color okay now see here at line number 16 the fx background dot white so this is the CSS applied on the cells which has no data then it is displaying the white color also we hide the border with the help of this CSS fx border width zero pixel okay this was the easy way by which you can hide the empty rows inside the table view I think this will be clear for you if you have any doubts so please comment below I will try to reply as soon as possible thanks that's all guys i hope you enjoyed this video so please like and subscribe my channel and press the notification bell icon for new video updates thanks for watching